Welcome to another edition of Boxbusters. I'm Brian. He's Chris. This is 2013 Panini Prism. Chris, I hope you like color because there's a lot of color in here. What are you trying to say? There's a lot of parallels and it's a very colorful box. I like box. prisms. I like refractors. I like prisms. That's what it is. What do we it's got prisms. here, Chris? We got two other box. box. Six cards per pack, 20 packs per box, and Steven Strasberg, number 37 in a row. And I'm going to try and open this. McKee, there we go. It's the second release of second year of Prism in its first year. Prism, never mind. It's yes. the second release. The, actually, you know what's funny? The update version of this is headed to us in October. Oh, there's a Prism update. Yeah, Prism Perennial Draft Picks is coming in October. Okay. okay. Is that an update or is that like a. It's draft picks, picks but it's Prism, same thing. Okay. So te te technically it's draft picks. But, All right. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if maybe there were some LLBPA guys in there. We haven't seen the checklist yet. So. All right. You never know. Lots okay. of cards per pack. Six cards per pack. This is a dense one. Ooh. Here's a, here's Nick's a base card. Nick's set, by the way. Is he? I just had to get There's that. There's a Mike Alt rookie card. Ooh. Carlton Fisk right off the top. Former Ranger great. Boom. He's a Chicago American League star. I'm awful at telling these refractory prisoners. That is a... That is a a prism. prism. Sorry, prism. My bad. <laughs> My bad. No more that's, Garcia Parra. That's the in unintentional humor. Scene. Yes. Hey, mention his hair. Ugh. That's my crutch. It's J.J. Reddick's long hair. Ugh. Something about Oakland A's guys with long hair. Yes. He Nick Swisher. Them. Yes. Ryan Jackson. Ryan Jackson was linked in the database incorrectly. We had Ryan Jackson USA cards linked to a guy who played in like the 90s. Sweet. So I had to fix that yesterday. There's my Ryan Jackson Any story. Any Aaron Loop trivia? No, I have no Aaron Loop stories. Alan Webster? Uh, no. He's not related to the little dude on the TV show. Webster. Webster? Same name. But I bet you we have some Webster cards in our non-sport database. I don't know. We might. We got Alex Karras or whatever his name is, mm -hmm. though. He's in there for sure. Rest in peace. All right. So this is my second pack here, and this pack felt different right off the top. I'm picking, I'm pick, picking, <laughs> predicting it has an insert card, and it did. So I'm not saying it, but I said it on accident. I, it, the pack felt different because there was an insert, different there you plastic. Go. There you go. Felix Hernandez, Superstar Spotlight. That's the front. That's the back. Got to be Bradley go. Jr., Jonas Cespedes, Michael Young. Lance Berkman is a ranger. Eef. That That's didn't work out for. too well. But he made it on a card. Yeah, he did. Here's a fearless, fearless. insert. Those are kind of cool. Check out the fire. Fire. I'll show the back with the fire. 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 There are, I believe, nine parallels to the base set. We're going to get them all, right? Maybe. Uh, and then them. there's like four or five different parallels, both hobby and retail exclusive. And there, oh, there is a notation on the back for Prism. So I didn't, right. I wasn't there sure if that know. would be there because I hadn't seen any yet. But here's my first one, Colin McHugh, the pitcher from Colorado. He's a rookie. There we go. That helps me. You can never tell the difference between a base card and a Prism. Zach Wheeler, Duente Heath. Ooh, I was two for two. I've never heard of him. I'm sure he played. He's a rookie as well. Alfonso Soriano. Here's a USA baseball. Is he a Chicago NL or a, a, a New York AL? Which one? Who are we talking Soriano. about? Soriano is a Chicago NL. Oh, sure. man. Here's a Dustin Pedroia USA baseball card. Ooh. Card number one in the set. I have a Matt McGill, Dustin Ackley, Justin Verlander, and a Michael Young Fearless. Yeah, that's a cool Fearless card. I like, that set. I like that insert design. It's got a lot of texture to it, and the texture with the etching makes it feel like some like, prism. And I like wow. the card with the full, like... A huge card number. Wow, that's good. People, I wish we had bigger font in our price guides. Me too. More Fearless. Fearless seems Fearless. to be a popular insert set in this product. I'm going to show off that huge card number. Can you miss it? Almost look like a serial number box. It's so huge up there in the corner. And here, I'll show you Adam Jones Fearless while you're down there. Twice as Fearless. There you go. That's a Fearless forecast, even though there's only two cards. Forecast, two cast, Fearless, two cast. I don't know. Just... This is a 300 card base set, sir. Sweet, okay. Yeah, there's five, same way. There's, <laughs> there's five uh, short prints at the end, 301 through 305. There's oh, season really? highlight cards, yes. I don't think they announced the short prints. There are so. parallels of the short prints. These are all, I, I just did the checklist yesterday. We were looking cool. at it yesterday, I so that's why I know. 
I did. And that's a good one. Does he not? He's one who does not have a lot of autographs, I believe. Mm, I think I have one, maybe. No, he does not have a lot, though. Yeah, yeah I, think he, I think this is a good one. Mr. Chris Medlin. I got a good one in this, in this box. Pack. Sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Let me give you the rundown of the pack. Mr. Oye Kilmava himself, Carlos Santana. Scott Diamond, he's just a star. Okay. Mariano Rivera. Tajan Walker, top prospects. Here's the two in a row that got me. Hyun Jun, Jin Ryu, however you say that, I have not yet gotten it right all year. I'm not going to start now. And Yaziel Puig, so the top two oh, Dodger sweet. rookies in a row. I don't okay. know if that will happen every pack. <clears throat> That'd be a hot pack, though, if you're in L.A. That'd be pretty cool. Well, there you go. If they're always going to come together, that's kind of crazy. Shelby Miller, Michael Bourne, David Price. Here's an keep R.A. Dickey Prism. I've only got one prism so far. You must be a uh, prism three, hot boxing. It. Three prisms. Well, that's Mariano Rivera. Jason Mott. Chase Utley. That's interesting. Evan Gaddis rookie card. Along with a Troy Tulowitzki USA card. I actually joked on this on Twitter, but we all we all know that this is not a MLB properties approved, you know, license product. No like no logos on caps. So if you want a logo, we'll give you a logo. A massive USA Baseball logo. That logo is one of the biggest logos I've ever seen on a card. It's a nice design, though. Oh, I did. I'm not saying it's not. It's just it's a huge <laughs> logo. It's a big logo. I mean, it's literally that's almost a fourth of the card. You want a logo? We'll give you a logo. Blah. And I like it. I like yeah, the USA, your USA Baseball thing. Yeah, not yeah. as much as it used to be, but I know still... it just you know money Time money gets tight. I can't afford the 16 year olds. Yes. Here is a cool insert, Band of Brothers. How's that? Uh, this right. is the Prism. Right. Yeah, those. I think those are one per box. Carlos per Gonzalez, prism. Troy Tulowitzki, and Will Rosario. It's kind of a cool insert. <laughs> Andrew McCutcheon, Martin Prado, Milky Mesa. <clears throat> Milky Mesa, rookie. That threw me off. George Brett, Brooks Raley, and my autograph is a Josh Willingham. You know, it's interesting. At first glance, I almost thought that that autograph sticker was smaller than normal size. But I think it's just well integrated into the design. Good job of integration. Yeah. Mike DiZunino, Matt Harvey. My elbow hurts. Ooh, hey, I'm here to talk about Qualcomm. Um, I'm not really here to talk about my elbow. And here I just want to talk about my sponsor, <laughs> Mr. Patrick. Here is Ryan Braun, kind of a superstar. Ty timely humor. Ooh, watch out, boys and girls. Numbered out of 60. A Austin Jackson wow, die cut. orange die cut. And to show you how it's die cut, I'm going to lay it down on top of a regular card. Check that out. Ready? Sound effects are amazing, weren't they? Look at that. Man, it's, kind of, it's different. It'll be fun trying to get that into a penny sleeve. That's why I'm not always a fan of die cut. Cal Ripken and Trevor Cahill orange die cut. You know, an orange die cut of uh, Cal Ripken would look cool. Just that would look cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. Trevor Cahill. My box almost flew No one cares about seeing Trevor Cahill. Sorry. I used to. I'll pump fake the camera. Man. Yeah, I, I used to. Hey, hey, look, Jared Parker. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Cal Ripken again. There you go. CJ Wilson, Alex Wilson. David Price hasn't had a USA card in a while. He's a Mr. 2006, 2005, 2006, 2007 guy. Jed Lowry, Evan Longoria, Band of Brothers, Carlos Quentin, and Chase Headley. I wonder cool. if HBO likes that name. Chippa. Oh, wait, that, was that on HBO? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, just checking. Joey Vato, always got to mention him. Troy Tulowitzki, Fearless. Joey Vato, again. Fearless seems to be a common... Uh, Tony Sincroni, uh, Coco a common Chris. insert here. You know, this is a... Like, you know, when this first arrived in basketball, this is one of those brands where you get six cards per pack. You know, and, t and typically in the past, other manufacturers, most of the time you get four, I believe. Yeah. So right off the bat... They're taking a little bit of a hit because it's more expensive to make these, so they're giving you more for your money. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you have a, we're only halfway through the box. Yeah, I feel like I have. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of cards. Yeah, so I mean, more. that right there makes this hard to argue with. with mm -hmm. No matter what you get, I mean, it's just flat out more cards. Ooh, that's cool. Bryce Harper, number three hundred two, short printed rookie of the year. Ooh. Oh, is that like three hundred two? There yeah. you go. Well, I wonder how short those are. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Are they really, I don't, really short? I don't know. Maybe they're one per box. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Here's Rookie Challenges. Rookie Challengers. Sorry. 
DD Gregor Gregorius. There we go. DD. DD. I'm thinking that's a special card. We'll see. It might be. It might be. Mike Napoli is not a special card. Only unless you're related to him. Cody Ross, Wellington Castillo, Justin Upton, Mike Napoli, Aaron Hicks. Not a great pack. But I got an Avicel Garcia rookie card prism. So technically not a rookie card, but a rookie card. Card of a rookie. Top prospects. Billy Hamilton. Good, good game last night. Jose Bautista. A bunch of hits and a bunch of stolen bases. That seems to be his MO. Yeah, but you know, he didn't do it in the minors. So who knows? Just stole a bunch. Yep. Wow. Band of Brothers. I got a Band of Brothers. Only two of them on this card, though. Is it only two on each card? No, there's no, three. No, there's a three. There's a two and a three. Or, I mean, it's the same insert set. But hmm. some are duels. Different some groupings. Triples. Yeah. There might be some quads, too. Joe Maurer, Josh Willingham. Uh, BB-16. Not Joe and Jake Maurer. That'd be fun. <laughs> In fact, look, check that out. How about Joe Maurer twice? And how about a Triple Crown guy, Miguel Cabrera? All right, Dickey USA Baseball card. Haven't had one of those Man. in a long time. He's a 2000-something-something. Something, or What is it? I don't know. He's in the 25th anniversary set, which was released in 05. So he's he's an old one. Pretty cool. It's been a while. In fact, he was in the minors in 96, 97, so it may be really a long while. Wow. Unless it's a World Baseball Classic. Anything in the back? I want to look real fast. No, he looks pretty young there. 96. Wow. I wouldn't even recognize him. A-Rod. Awkward silence. A-Rod and Ricky. Andy Pettit, J.D. Martinez. Michael and Waka Waka Waka. Wah, wah, redemption card. Let's see. You just got shunned. But you are valued as a collector. This is autographs and rookie autographs. So this is the autograph set for Ivan Nova, or Ivan Nova. It's a Yankee. There we go. Zolio Almonte, Chase Utley, Marcel, Marcel Ozuna. Justin Grimm, Shin Shu Chu, David Fries, and a prism card of Justin Grimm. Do you think he fears the Reaper? Okay. Oh, here we go. Probably one for box. Don't fear the Reaper. Sure. I, I got Reaper. the reference. I, I got it. It was good. Mm -hmm. This is a Miguel Cabrera. Card number 305, season highlight short print. I got a fun autograph in this one. So these are either one per box or you got a hot box. Remember last year when the Los Angeles Dodgers pulled off a massive trade for an outfielder? Ooh. Carl Crawford. How'd that work out? I don't know. I don't think he's played much, but he's, he's, he's a pretty big that. name on the autograph side. He's been around a while. He needs to improve that autograph. Uh, it's been bad since his first year, though. Remember those Tufts trades mm -hmm. where it's like a big... Uh, like he broke his Sharpie the, on the card. This is the perfect end to a long day. And Ian Kinsler uh, card, helping wow. the Rangers tank. Nice. Oh, oh. And a Ricky. There, there's a oh, Ricky Henderson. Ricky Prism. Prism. Oh, the Ricky love Ricky. Prism Ricky. There, there we go. But Ricky, Ricky love Ricky in Oakland more. Not Ricky love Yankee Ricky and Ricky no love Ricky Yankee Ricky. Something, this something. is the greatest hits box break from Chris uh, Olds. Nicholas Thompson Swisher. Speaking of the greatest hits, oh, right really? there. There you go. Here's a here's one you don't see that often. Jeff Bagwell. Yeah. Jeff Bagwell in an Astros uniform, and I have another prism of Nick Morand. So that was, for me, that's a massively good pack with Nicholas Thompson Swisher. He should be in the USA Baseball set, if you ask me. No, probably not. Yeah. Actually, he didn't even play. He, well, he actually played like two games. I have his jerseys at home that he didn't play in. I, 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 don't, even know, I don't even know what to say. I exactly. don't even know what to say. Well, I have three packs to go, so... So I have to say something? Yeah, you have to fill. You have to say something. To fill. I'm, I'm double-checking here to see if I got any other prisms. Wow. Jeff Francoeur. Mm. Wow. That's he's been a, a while there. He's a former Ranger great. Mike Trout. Brian Morris. So Brian McCann. Fearless. Juan Pierre. Two packs to go. I'm thinking I'm going to get something huge here before it's over. I hope you don't. I don't think you're going to top my Chris Medlin. That, uh, that's a that's a good autograph. That, and a, oh, that's a sweet card. Give that one to Tim Yoder. I just I just won. You give he, this he was away. down playing my box, and I pulled this the card he This is the best loves. card out of all the two. The Band two of Brothers, Adrian Beltre, Hugh Darvish, and Ian Kinsler. Oh. 
Too Fox bad they all awesome. banded together to lose the AL West. Don't oh, worry wait. about that. There's still 11 games left, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nolan Arenando, Kevin Gossman. Wow, rookie challengers. Did we pull, yes, pull any of those? those? Okay, Dylan Bundy on my side. I better one than I did. Yeah, my elbow hurts, though, pulling it. Uh, Kevin Gossman, Tim Lincecum, Austin Jackson. So... <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? I thought we'd get more color in here. Yeah, I was you were really, talking it up. I right? know. I thought there would be a ton of color. I know there's nine parallels to the base set. I guess one, are these one per? Oh, this is a parallel of the base set. So, I guess so. Wow. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah. I mean, we got. I got several prismatics. Mm -hmm. Not prismatics. Prisms. Um, I didn't pull them all out separately. I got at four. least three. Okay. Yeah. So maybe they're three, three to four. Yeah. There probably is one I missed somewhere. Um, Two autos. I got Puig. I, I got two USA Baseball players. I've maybe had I more. Yeah. I don't know. Um. You know the the, the kind of a post mortem on last the last prism was there was a lot of autographs, but they're kind of mid range guys. Mm -hmm. I'm all right with a Carl Crawford because he's at least in the past done more. Yeah. Josh Willingham, Carl Crawford, Carl Crawford wins. Yeah. So I think overall, if you get the if you get a quality autograph, the collecting experience should be perfectly good. A like, good autograph is a good box. If you don't get the good autograph, which I haven't looked at the autograph checklist, yeah. I know there's tons of cards in these boxes. I mean, that's a lot of prism chrome stuff there. So for a higher technology kind of a release, yeah, you get a lot of stuff. You do. I mean, you and get. It's hard to argue with it value wise. Yeah, I like the insert design on, on these Fearless and the Band of Brothers are cool. Um, you got more prism of the other stuff. Prism, I got I four of these and then one in prism insert. Hmm, maybe I didn't miss it. I don't know. I'll check. Come on. I could have missed see, it. See, that's with all that's why good. you need to sort as you go. Like I can't do, I, I can't do it. I tr I've tried. You, you should. <laughs> if we go back to the slow mo replay, <laughs> you're starting and then you gave up. I can't talk and through. think and move arms at the same time. Ah, it's a shame, Chris. I know. It's a shame. So I think we like it. Good value. You get a lot of stuff. You do. You do. I, if, I, I almost wish they'd overload it on more inserts, but yeah, there still is plenty. Cool. Really like they do stand inserts. out. Yeah. So, so I think that's our thoughts. So go out and buy a box or case. Send it to me and Chris. Keep it for yourself. Just send me all the Swishers. I'm fine. Send all the Swishers to Chris. You can keep the Kinslers. You giving up on them? Eh. Bailed? Eh. Season's over? Eh. Moved on to the Cowboys? Yes. So, until next time, I'm Brian, he's Chris, and we'll see you.